Hey folks, Romeko here. I am bringing you guys a video in a long time. Um, and this video is going to be very special. This, of course, is the Battle for Zendikar pre-release kit, of which the pre-release has not yet started. And uh, the pre-release is actually tomorrow. So we're going to be opening it well in advance uh, of the actual pre-release. And uh, I'll be showing you guys what you can get with this particular set, and then we can uh, see what we pull. So of course with this set we have a very, very nice deck box. I'm just going to open it off camera here. So of course uh, in this set you'll find one rare or mythic rare as your foil promo, promo card. So of course we're hoping that is one of the planeswalkers, uh, Ulamog, or one of the lands. So we're going to slide this out, and of course I'm going to try to preserve this box as much as I can. You can see it, it's very very nice, very nice. I'm going to open it up. And there is six boosters, a so there's six boosters in here, a uh, front card, or I guess like a divider, and our promo card is in the back. So we're gonna slowly slide that out, and hopefully it's something good. Hopefully it's something good. It is a mythic rare. Wow. It is quarantine field. So this could be a very big hit or very big miss, depending on <laughs> how this card is. So, very cool card so, so far. So hopefully I'm just looking to pull some sort of uh, mythic rare in the set. Here we have Dispel, Mindraker, McKindy Patrol. I guess I won't say every card, but we'll go through it. Very cool. Here's some of the new lands. More Choir and Meyer. Some more new lands. Some of the uncommons in the set are fantastic. And this definitely being one of the great ones for limited. Rolling Thunder is fantastic. And of course, you guys know that uh, since I play cube, or I have a cube, I will be adding a lot of these cards to the cube. So we went through our two uncommons, third uncommon, and our, ooh, Canopy Vista. That is beautiful, guys. So Forest Plains, Canopy Vista enters the battlefield tapped, unless you control two or more basic lands. This is definitely something we wanted, and ooh, a full art land. Look at that, that's gorgeous. Almost had a little bit of a panic attack because I thought we were going to get uh, an expedition card. The, that would have been amazing. Amazing to get. The fact that we got a mythic as our pre release promo is actually very good. Statistics is good odds. Uh, something that I didn't expect at all. I think I would have been very happy with just a foil uh, Zendikar Dual Land. So here we have some more awesome cards. And you know, these cards actually feel like good cardstock. I'm uh, impressed with the printing quality of these cards. I'm just going to move some of these aside here. Bone Splinters. I think this is a, an old card with a new art. So some of the same stuff we saw previously. Okay, we have Roy Rot Shambler, an uncommon. Pretty cool. Forerunner of Slaughter. Very cool, Eldrazi. I'm thinking about making an Eldrazi deck. Ulamog's Nullifier. Very cool. And then our rare is, oh my goodness, Kiora, Master of the Depths. Fantastic. So we have two mythic pulls, and the first rare we got was a dual land, and then we got an awesome plane. So this Kiora 
untap up to one target creature. Reveal the top four cards of your library. You may put a creature card and or a land card into your hand. Put the rest into your graveyard. And you get an emblem with whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, you may have it fight target creature. Then put three eight eight blue octopus creatures onto the battlefield. That is plenty scary. And we've got this uh, elemental token. So wow, guys, that's fantastic. So I think we've made bank already um, quite a bit. Foil mythic, mythic planeswalker, and uh, land uh, dual land card. I think we're already up. Uh, so anything else beyond this is pure gravy. I pay thirty dollars for this. For this. Uh, and uh, certainly I wish I could have attended the pre-release, but uh, since my friend uh, works at the store, they gave me the cards much, much earlier than uh, I should get them. Maybe not much earlier, but uh, certainly early enough to do this video for you guys. I'm loving the card stock on this, by the way. The first uncommon is Catacomb Sifter. Great uncommon. Second is Turn Against. I think that's fantastic. Gain control of target creature. Awesome. Instant speed. So you know you can, you can do some crazy tricks with that. Molten Nursery is our third uncommon, and our rare is Exert Influence. So interesting. Gain control of target creature, converge. So the more color mana that you spend to cast this, the higher the converted mana cost of uh, of uh, oh, it's power power so. The greater the power. Swamp and Eldrazi token. Great. So we have three more. If we get an expedition land, I am going to be ecstatic. So hopefully you guys like and comment. Tell me what you liked about the video. Let me know. Um, that uh you like the pulls that I got. Certainly, I think uh, they're fantastic pulls. So cool, cool new land. First uncommon is adverse conditions. Second is pilgrim eye. Oh, I think we've missed the uncommons, uh, one of the uncommons, but our rare is Ally Encampment. So this is the rare ally land that actually gives you one mana of any color to cast an ally spell. And then you can return an ally you control to its owner's hand. Cool forest card and Eldrazi Scion token. So we got two more cards, or two more packs rather. And I just wanted to show you guys that uh, we also get a spin down counter in here. Fantastic little, uh, fantastic little counter. Nice. Battle for Sunday car logo. Cool. Wish I had gotten a different color. I'm not a big fan of the the uh, black dice. All right, got two more packs to go, guys. I think we've already made really good bank. And depending on how good this ally encampment land is, certainly we're gonna be doing pretty well. It's already like a $5 card or something like that. Seek the Wilds. Nice. So I'm going to go through these really quickly. So Akum Stone Waker is our first uncommon. Ulamog's Nullifier again. Retreat, retreat to Hagra. Interesting cycle of enchantments. And our rare. <gasps> Another mythic, Void Winnower. So your opponents can't cast spells with converted mana costs that are even, and they can't block with creatures with converted even mana costs. So 11 9 for 9. This is an amazing card. I love it. Ooh, look at that. Making its return. Island, full art island. Love it. Oh, and our 8 8 octopus token. How flavorful. Final pack, guys. I think we have officially officially made bank. So we got three mythics. Quarantine Field, Kiora, Void Winnower. I think I'm going to skip right to the uncommons. 
for this particular particular uh, pack. I think we've seen enough. We just want to know where this is all going to end up. Last set of uncommons before the rare. Hopefully we have a foil card in here because we haven't seen a foil for the entire set. And hopefully that foil is an expedition card. We have Draenus Emissary, Fire Mantle Mage, Retreat to Coral Helm. Guys, if we get a Planeswalker or something good, it's going to be crazy. Final card, Conduit of Ruin. So what does this do? When you cast Conduit of Ruin, search your library for a colorless creature card with converted mana cost 7 or greater. Reveal it, shuffle your library, put that card on top. So like pretty much like Fetch and Eldrazi. And the first creature spell you cast of each turn costs 2 less to cast. That's actually pretty good. So if you get a 6 mana Eldrazi, it costs 2 less to cast. And if you have 2 of these on the field, so it would be 4 to cast. If you have 2 of them on the field, your Ulamog only costs 6. Amazing Mountain Land and Core Ally are our final cards. So guys, I gotta really say the card stock on this uh, in this set feels really good. Feels really sturdy. I'm liking it so far. Let's recap on our uh, our rares and mythics. Bear with me one moment here. As I recollect uh, our awesome rares and mythics. And of course, um, it's been a blast to open these. I got uh, four, four boxes and one fat pack and the event deck. So I'm hoping to open that for you guys as well. So here's some of our big hits. First big hit, Quarantine Field. Awesome card. Read it for yourselves. It's fantastic. Mythic Foil. It's like O-Ring on crack. Second, Void Winnower. Amazing. Third, Ally Encampment. Exert Influence. Cure the Planeswalker. Amazing. Canopy Vista. Look at that gorgeous art, guys. Don't you want to live in Zendikar? Because I sure do. Conduit at Ruben. Final rare. So I'm guessing, based on our pulls, our estimated rare value sits somewhere between $30 to $40. Maybe more with the foil quarantine field. Thanks for watching, guys. Much appreciated. This was a great opening. I'm going to try to build a sealed deck out of this, and, uh, and hopefully my friend will keep his uh, sealed deck intact, and then uh, I can proceed to kick his ass. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.